Hey all, Oceplan Snake over here with another figure review. This time is Movie Masters Scarecrow from the first movie. Uh, this is the white insane coat he had at the end when he was on a horse and everyone was running through the streets full of uh, fear gas. Sorry, spoiler. Um, what do I think of this figure? I'm a good big good, big good, 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 good. Yeah. It's kind of mixed, you know. Um, I like it. I think the detail in the sculpt is great. The face especially, I think, is great. Um, uh, that's kind of where it falls short for me. Let's get the bats out of the way. Um, I think I think it's good. I think this is a quite a sturdy, hard uh, plastic. Um, it's thick here, so it doesn't bend at all, which I think hinders the figure greatly. Also, his extra long cuffs are ridiculously hard plastic, so... But, you know, it's part of the sleeve, so part of the arm, what do you expect? And finally, no bicep cut. I thought it was a weird choice, considering they've quite easily done it here. I know, I always question some choices people make when they make these figures. Like, if you can, why not make something? If you're going to make something, why not make it as best as you can make it? Um, especially if you're in a company where your job is to make these things. I don't know, I, I'm, as I said, I'm, I'm, I'm in two minds about it. Um, the underside, the shirt, trousers and feet is exactly the same as this figure. Uh, it's the exact same sculpt minus the tie. In fact, I'm sure if I took this coat off, he'd even have a shirt. He'd even have this bit, the, shirt, the, the collar. Stupid camera. Um, let's have a quick look at his face. He's got some quite menacing eyes in there. Pretty good. Um, let's go over his articulation. It's different to the to the um, uh, Harvey Dent head on a ball, so it goes around there. Oh, I didn't notice that. It's got a bit of hair. Yeah, it goes all the way around, um, down, and up quite a lot actually. Um, arms on a ball joint, uh, hindered by the coat quite a lot. And that's as high. I stand out straight. As high as you're going to get it, you're not going to get any further. It's very hindered by this. Um, and that's it, no cut or anything, as I said. So then you've just got the elbow and the wrist rotation, and that's and that's it. And that's that's the big bummer for me. That really kind of bums me out a lot. I just, ugh, why not put a cut? I thought about doing it myself, like just cutting them up, put some screws, but there's not a lot of room to work. I haven't really tried anything so delicate. So, I don't know. I might just swap them out for these arms and just put some epoxy on details. We'll see. Anyway, uh, he's got an ab crunch, goes to there, and back, <laughs> that looks funny, back to there. It looks like he's um, laying down on something and someone else is holding him up. Uh, uh, he's got waist cut, uh, DCUC T cut, so to there, and out to there. Very extended by the coat, vice swivel, single knee, and ankle to there to there <sighs> I don't know if you want a scarecrow figure yeah pick him up but just be prepared that you are very limited to pretty much a straight up pose if you have that then it's like why is this there it looks silly you kind of can only really stand him up and that's all you're gonna really get to make it look good so just prepared guys if that's what you want um, I want to do something with this but I just don't know what I might try and either sculpt, cut and sculpt it to the trousers, or I might cut and change it to a cloth, or I might just go to the jacket altogether and, like I said, put the head on the suit because he does wear in the beginning in the of um, Dark Knight Rises. He's got the mask on a suit, so I don't know. We should see. But anyway, there's my review. Um, fits in nicely the Movie Masters uh, scale as I've showed you with a couple of figures. So yeah, if you want a scarecrow, then I suppose this will, will do. I don't think you're going to get anything else. Anyway, thanks for looking guys. Catch you later.